Obesity is reaching epidemic proportions, and this condition is also causing other serious health issues. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton, and welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're speaking with Dr. Richard Beliveau about this issue, as well as one of the worst culprits in terms of obesity, fast food. Rates of obesity of overweight, for example, in Mexico City in 1989 was 10%. 11 years later, 60%. 600% increase in 11 years. That's what obesity is doing. And obesity is the common denominator for type 2 diabetes, heart disease, cancer, stroke, and so on, including Alzheimer. We never saw type 2 diabetes with people under the age of 50. Now we see type 2 diabetes with teenagers and kids because of the obesity epidemics. Unfortunately, about 90% of the publicity aiming at the kid at the prime time television show for kids is junk food. Rubble, rubble. <laughs> Tell us more about appetite and overindulgence. Appetite is a big problem because there's only one hormone secreted from your stomach that tells your brain you're hungry. It's called ghrelin. But to tell your brain you've eaten enough, you have more than 40 hormones. When you eat junk food, your brain has a problem analyzing and you don't know when you've eaten enough. A lot of obesity specialists consider obesity as a brain disease. We get our metabolism in a complete disarray with these food that never existed in our 20 million years of evolution. It's in the last 30 years that we developed the industrial food. Our enzymes have hundreds of millions of years of evolution they cannot adapt. We are more sedentary. We don't play football outside. We play Nintendo. So we are creating now a generation of obese people because of this disproportion between our caloric intake and caloric expenditure. A simple pop is between 150 and 500 calories. 150 calories is 40 minutes of walking. So when you take a pop in the middle of the afternoon or at lunch, be aware that you, to burn it, you will have to walk 40 minutes at night. That's a big issue. I prefer not to take it. 